welcome to chemistry lover and today in this video i am going to discuss about a name reaction now uh, why i am discussing this reaction because uh, if you go to my channel you will see uh, the my channel started with this particular reaction so i am very much nostalgic with this reaction because this was the first video which i uploaded in my channel so that's why and uh, the actual reason why i am dis making video on this particular topic again because if you go to my that video uh, that time i didn't have any uh, good equipment so the video quality is very poor the sound quality is very poor so uh, that's why i am trying to just reconstructing the same video again so that's why i'm making this video now uh, although i am discussing the same reaction but i will try to discuss it in another way right so watch this video till the end uh, because i am very much no nostalgic with this particular topic right so uh, let me discuss with you uh, with this particular question that how you can prepare this one from this particular uh, starting material so you have this starting material you want to make this and if I don't mention the stereochemistry, I know you are clever enough that you can say that if you react this with simple benzoyl chloride. So this is the benzoyl chloride. This will attack here and you will get this product. Right? But what happens if I mention the stereochemistry? For example, if I say that this is above the plane and below the plane there is hydrogen. And in this case, now this one is above the plane and below the plane there is hydrogen. So what will happen then, right? Or let's say I erase this. So let's say the stereochemistry is like this. So this is above the plane. This methyl is still above the plane, but it was in the left hand side. Now it, it is in the right hand side. So that means inversion occurs, but you can see if you follow this pathway that, that this react over here to get this you will not get this product instead you will get this one where you will have this methyl group over here this oxygen and this so this product you will get get and not this one right so how you can get this product that is how you can get an inversion over this so for that you should make this one as a leaving group and you should react this so this you have to use as your nucleophile and this will be your leaving group right now you know OH minus is a very bad leaving group and this one is a very bad nucleophile it is not a good nucleophile because if you make this anion also this benzoate anion then also it is delocalized and that's why it is a very bad nucleophile so you have to use a bad nucleophile and bad leaving group to do a SN2 reaction which is next to impossible but how you can make it possible for that this video is today so to solve this problem or to get this product one scientist from Japan he discovered or he invented a pathway or a, a reaction which is called Mitsunobu reaction and that is our today's topic. So we are going to discuss about the Mitsunobu reaction today. So if you convert this to this what you have to use it. So you are right you have to use this benzoic acid as your nucleophile but along with that you have to use dead and PPH3 what is dead dead the full form is so this is the molecule first let me write down then I will tell the full form so this is the molecule called dead So this is diethyl azo diimide. Okay, diethyl azo diimide. So this is why it is called dead. Now, if you react this molecule in presence of dead and triphenylphosphine with this benzoic acid, you will get this. So what is the mechanism of this reaction? So this dead 
it plays a very important role in this reaction and the same is played by this triphenylphosphine so triphenylphosphine is the main player of this reaction okay so what happens if you give dead uh, to this starting material so what it will do is first these two cannot react so if you consider the most nucleophilic element or most nucleophilic site uh, among all these this triphenylphosphine is most nucleophilic because this phosphorus has lone pair and three phenyl groups which is attached to it it is making it more nucleophilic so this triphenylphosphine is ready to attack on any electrophilic center now if you find electrophilic centers in this molecule you can see these two centers are electrophilic why because if your triphenylphosphine it attacks over here these double bond can go here and can be delocalized into this carbonyl group so after this reaction whatever intermediate you are going to get i will write here so if i write it here so you are going to get this oet and on this side you are going to get this triphenylphosphine which will have a positive charge because it is attacking on the nitrogen and this side you have this ester group okay now you can see there is a positive center and this center is electrophilic enough that this oxygen it can easily attack over here and oxygen has special affinity towards any phosphorus right so that's why it will immediately attack over here so if it attacks over here this bond will now cleave and it will be delocalized into this carbonyl group so in this step whatever you are going to get is you are going to get so i am shifting this to here so you are going to get this methyl group over here this hydrogen over here and here you are going to get this pph 3 plus like this and this one you have to remember it so you now have this thing so this o minus here also you have o minus here you have oet here you have oet right and this has this this has this oh plus kind of thing now if this push back this can take this proton to make it neutral so it will make it neutral and we will get this so from here we get this thing pph 3 plus we get this thing and this will become n n uh, sorry here you don't have double bond you have hydrogen instead and this side you have this ester group and this side the situation is still like this o minus oet now you have also uh, so i erase down but you have this benzoic acid you have this benzoic acid in your reaction medium right so this proton is acidic enough that if this oxygen o minus push it can take this proton from here and it will make benzoate so it will create benzoate ph co o minus so now it is an active nucleophile but already i mentioned that it is not nucleophilic enough so it normally uh, doesn't react with any electrophile but in this case the electrophile is very much electrophilic this center is now very much electrophilic because this phosphorus contains a positive charge and this is dragging high amount of electron density from this oxygen which will in in turn create a delta plus over here so this center now becomes very much electrophilic due to the presence of this positively charged phosphorus atom so now uh, although it is not new uh, not that much nucleophilic but still it can attack on here so this bond will break and here you will get this thing so you will get this and this side you have hydrogen you have the methyl and as a byproduct you are going to get 
सॉरी यू आर गोइंग टू गेट दिस ट्राइफिनाइल फॉस्पिन ऑक्साइड सो फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन सी दिस बॉन्ड इज ब्रेकिंग एंड यू आर गेटिंग ट्राइफिनाइल फॉस्पिन ऑक्साइड सो दिस ऑक्सीजन फॉस्फोरस डबल बॉन्ड इट हैज ट्रिमेंडस अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी एंड इन एनी रिएक्शन इफ दिस Uh, oxygen phosphorus bond formation is there that reaction is highly favorable if you recall re recall the wittig reaction they are also the main driving force for the reaction is this oxygen phosphorus bond formation double bond formation so here also this is the driving force of this reaction so if i summarize the whole reaction again so this dead here it is the activator of this reaction it activates both the electrophile and the nucleophile it activates the electrophile through uh reacting first reacting with this triphenyl phosphine which will make so first triphenyl phosphine will activate this dead then that species will activate this electrophile and the by product that is this particular intermediate it will now activates the nucleophile and the nucleophile finally attacks on the electrophile and this phosphorus oxygen bond formation this will this will drives the reaction to the right hand side so this is the whole reaction the mitsunobu reaction i hope that you understood the mechanism if you want uh, examples of this reaction search in my channel i made some videos on a variation of mitsunobu reaction which deals with previous year questions of competitive exams so i hope that uh, you uh, find this video helpful thank you for watching